Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Zanish here and in this video I'll be explaining you what is App Compact Activity. So App Compact Activity is a class in Android which consists of some of the main functions and methods. App Compact Activity class is also a part of the Android support library. Now before explaining you what is App Compact Activity let me first explain you the concept of inheritance with a very simple example. Now, as you can see in the picture, there are two classes, one by the name of car and another class by the name of engine. The car class is basically an empty class as it does not consist of any methods, functions, variables or data types. On the other hand, the engine class consists of two methods, particularly steering wheel and acceleration. Now, the methods steering wheel and acceleration are defined inside the engine class. Now, as you can see in the video, if I now place the engine class inside the car class, then the car class will basically be able to inherit the functions and the methods that are inside the engine class. In simple terms, the car class is now able to use the methods defined inside the engine class. So, the car class which was previously empty now consists of two methods, steering wheel and acceleration which belong to the engine class and this concept where one class can use the methods of another class is called as inheritance now if i write the above code in this manner public class car extends engine and inside the car class i have two methods that is acceleration and steering wheel and compare this with the original source code then the main activity class is like your car class which is empty and the app compact activity is like the engine class which basically consists of two methods so in this case the app compact activity is called as a super class as it has some of the main methods defined inside it and the main activity is called as a subclass because it is inheriting or calling the functions that are inside the app compact activity Further, if you go on Google and type in App Compact Activity Android, then you can basically find out the list of methods which are defined inside the App Compact Activity. Two of the basic methods which we have seen till now are the onCreate method and the FindView by ID method. So the onCreate and the FindView by ID methods are basically inherited from the App Compact Activity class and are not defined inside the main activity class. Similarly, if you hover over the app compact activity and click on the key combination control plus the left mouse button, then you'll be basically taken to the app compact activity source code. Now you really do not need to understand the entire code which is written inside the app compact activity class. But what you should know is that when you extend main activity with app compact activity you could now use the methods that are defined inside the app compact activity class so if we compare this with a real life example the skeleton of the car is nothing without the engine and the steering wheel okay because on the left side as you can see i just have a skeleton of a car and on the right side i have an engine which is fitted with steering wheels and brakes okay now if there are no engine, no steering wheel and brakes inside the car, the car is of no use. But now if I fit the entire assembly of steering wheel, engine and the brakes inside the car, the car will function smoothly. So I hope you would have understood what is app compact activity with this simple real life examples. Similarly extending your main activity with the app compact activity have further advantages. like. App Compact Activity also allows backward compatibility on other older Android devices. Meaning App Compact Activity allows app to run on lower version devices as well. So that's it guys. In short, App Compact Activity is basically a super class which consists of some of the main methods and when you extend main activity class with App Compact Activity, you can inherit the methods from the app compact activity to the main activity so i hope this video would have cleared up your concepts and doubts related to app compact activity 
Now, in the next video, I'll be explaining you what do you mean by the override notation. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click on the like button at the bottom. And if you want to learn Android from scratch, again, feel free to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Thank you guys.